The Russian army has received a batch of T-80BVM tanks, reports Russian source overclockers, sharing a video of a busy train. The batch consists of a small number of T-80BVM tanks and, according to the source, are intended for the Russian units in Ukraine. The news was officially confirmed by the Russian state defense company Rostec. It makes the impression that the batch of tanks came from Omsk transport engineering plant. This is a very important fact, considering one of the recent decisions of the Kremlin to restore the serial production of T-80BVM tanks. There is no officially confirmed information the batch is made up of the new series produced T-80 BVMs. But, speculation in this issue is increasing. At the beginning of September, Moscow decided to load the production of the Omsk plant. And the new production is a restoration of the serial production of the T-80. In reality, the entire production tank base has never been shut down. But up to this point, it was mainly engaged in repair work on damaged T-80 tanks. Military analysts around the globe concur that Russia seems to be ramping up its total tank production. Russia also introduces these new tank models. The manufacturing of T-72B3M and T-90M ProRive tanks is ongoing at the Kurgan plant. Moreover, without taxing Kurganmash Zavad's production capacity excessively, the creation of T-80BVM combat vehicles can be smoothly initiated in Omsk. Recently, it was noted by US experts that the precise version and characteristics of the new serial T-80 still remain a mystery. This ambiguity pertains because the Russian defense sector has yet to produce a tank more advanced than the Soviet T-80 UK, commonly recognized as the pinnacle model within the 80s series. The anticipated T-80 tank is predicted to be largely standardized and unified. It much could be like the T-90M tank, sources said. T-90 was introduced to service in 2020. This is thought to be an approach enacted to circumvent high operating costs. This approach also validates the reinitiation of production. A potential modernization route for the new T-80 could involve the installation of the 2A82-1M from the T-14 Armada tank alongside its autoloader. This would allow for the utilization of Vacuum-1 armor-piercing ribbed Sabot projectiles, boasting a core length of 1,000 mm. The proposed updates would provide the T-80 tank with advanced capabilities, making it formidable against enemy armored vehicles. Adding to this, the 2A82-1M gun, in comparison to Western tank guns, would offer a range of fire that is threefold. The T-80's modernization could also entail the fitting of reactive malachite armor, a dynamic protection that offers superior defense compared to the relic complex found in the T-90M tank. Speculated future modifications might align with these possibilities. The newly delivered tanks, as evidenced by video footage, still retain their original turret. According to open sources, it is difficult to specify the exact number of T-80 tanks that Russia lost in the war in Ukraine. The conflict in Ukraine has been ongoing since 2014 and there have been numerous reports of tank losses on both sides. However, due to the nature of the conflict and the lack of reliable and transparent information, it is challenging to obtain accurate data on specific tank losses. It is important to note that the number of reservoir losses can vary depending on the source and time frame considered. Various estimates indicate that Russia may have lost several dozen T-80 tanks in the war in Ukraine. 
These assessments are based on reports from Ukrainian military sources, independent observers, and media coverage. However, it is extremely important to approach these numbers with caution, as they are not officially confirmed and can vary widely depending on the source. The T-80 BVM is a modernized version of the T-80 main battle tank, which was originally developed by the Soviet Union. It is currently in service with the Russian Army. The main goal of the T-80 BVM upgrade was to enhance the tank's combat capabilities and extend its operational lifespan. In terms of characteristics, the T-80 BVM has a combat weight of around 46 tons and a length of approximately 9.5 meters. It is powered by a gas turbine engine, which provides it with a maximum speed of 70 km per hour on roads and 45 km per hour off-road. The tank has a crew of three personnel, including a commander, a gunner, and a driver. The operational range of the T-80 BVM depends on various factors, such as terrain and speed. On roads, it can travel up to 500 km without refueling. However, off-road conditions may reduce its range. The tank is designed to operate in various environments, including urban areas, forests, and open fields. The T-80 BVM is equipped with a 125mm smoothbore gun, capable of firing various types of ammunition, including armor-piercing fin-stabilized discarding Sabot APFSDS rounds and high-explosive anti-tank heat rounds. It also has a 7.62mm machine gun and a 12.7mm machine gun for anti-aircraft defense. In terms of combat capabilities, the T-80 BVM features advanced fire control systems, including a ballistic computer and a thermal imaging site, which significantly improve its accuracy and target acquisition capabilities. It is also equipped with explosive reactive armor, ERA, and active protection systems to enhance its survivability on the battlefield. 